This video is sponsored by Policy Genius. More about them later. The number one most common golden handcuff high income. Most often, income that is at least on par with the market or higher if you're in a high demand functional area. If you know it'll be hard to find a comparable salary at a different company, you're less likely to leave your current position. And this is exactly what your employer wants. The primary purpose of golden handcuffs is to encourage employees, especially high value employees to remain with the organization for a longer period of time. It is hard to replace you. They spent a lot of time and money training you and your skills are now a rare commodity. So one of the most common ways companies entice high value employees to stick around longer is by offering great salaries. Because if you know you're receiving a pretty decent high income and you know it will be hard to find a better one elsewhere, this will naturally dissuade you from looking for a different job. This is also true if you've been thinking about a complete career change, but have second thoughts because the pay in your current occupation is so good. You see this often with technical roles that pay really well. Think finance, law, medicine, or engineering. I know of doctors who would love to do something else, but because they're compensated so well in their current occupation, they just can't take the risk. Or that is how they feel. To try their luck at a completely different occupation means giving up their current high salary. And once they're used to a certain level of salary, it's really hard to see yourself earning anything less. So in such a case, is high income a blessing or a curse? The number two most common golden handcuff, bonus. Bonuses come in many different flavors depending on the company and the type. For example, there is a performance-based bonus. You hit a certain milestone, sign on an X number of customers, make X number of total sales, complete the project before deadline, or volunteer to work overtime during a peak season. And for hitting this milestone, the company rewards you with a bonus for a job well done. Then there is the annual bonus, most often a bonus that is given to everyone within the organization because the company had a successful year. The company as a whole hit a major milestone. Its revenue increased by X percent its customer base increased by X folds. Thus, everyone in the company is rewarded for sticking around and contributing to its success. And sometimes bonuses are a straight out retention bonus. Stick around until this date and you will receive extra money. This is often offered if the company is implementing a major project and they know the employee is a key part of that project. Or if the job market is hot and the company knows that high performing employees have multiple options to choose from. Whatever to keep that high performing employee to stick around longer. And because all these bonuses are incentives to keep employees around longer, they're often given out only when you meet a time milestone. For example, stick around until December 31st or until end of the fiscal year or until this project is complete. And if you don't stick around until that time, you risk losing that bonus. Kind of reminds me of what I do with my kids. Extra $1 bonus for cleaning up your room, but only if you do it without complaining and you complete it in the next 30 minutes. In talking about incentives that are important to employees, do you know what else is important? Having the right insurance. Do you have people that are relying on your income? I sure do. If you do, you need life insurance. That is a fact. But where to start? Which is why I'm excited to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Policy Genius. Policy Genius is your one stop shop to find and buy the insurance you need at the right price. When I got married and my kids were born, I realized that it would be irresponsible of me to not make preparations if something were happened to me. I hope that nothing does, but we never know, right? How would the family continue to cover basic expenses like mortgage and food? How about the kids' future expenses like college? That's the reason my wife and I got life insurance as soon as the kids were born, which gave both my wife and I a peace of mind that we were covered in case the worst happened. The truth is that life insurance is a crucial part of all good financial planning. And with life insurance, the rates typically increase as you get older. So the sooner you get it, the better it is. And Policy Genius is a great partner to help you find the right policy to protect your family. Policy Genius has licensed award-winning agents and technology that makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from America's top insurers. And you can do this in just a few clicks to find your lowest price. And even if you already have life insurance policy through work, it may not be enough. Most often, they're only equivalent to about one year of your salary, not offering enough protection for your family's needs. Additionally, they don't follow you when you leave your job. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 per year for $1 million of coverage. Some options offer same day approval and avoid unnecessary medical exams. And because agents don't work for the insurance companies, they don't have any incentive to recommend one insurer over the other, just one that best fits your needs. Policy Genius also has thousands of five star reviews on Google and Trustpilot from customers who find value from its service. So save time and money by providing your family with a financial safety net using Policy Genius. Head to policygenius.com slash financial tortoise or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. All right, with that said, let's get back to the video. The number three most common golden handcuff, job security. For some people, they value having a job more than high pays or end of year bonuses. They've seen people lose their jobs and they're terrified of not having a paycheck. 
Thus, the fact that their job is secure keeps them in their golden handcuff. You see this often in very stable industries or the government. Of course, we can also argue that no industry or even the government is immune from recession and job loss. However, the fact is that certain industries have less volatility than others. For example, while the Great Recession of 2008 had a devastating impact on so many industries, it had lesser impact on healthcare jobs in comparison. Think doctors, nurses, physical therapists, and pharmacists. Regardless of recession, people will always need medical care. Thus, many who enter into these more secure jobs have a harder time leaving that occupation because where else could they find a job that has that level of security? But again, what do you think? Is this a curse or a blessing? Depends on who you ask, but something to think about. The number four most common golden handcuff equity-related compensation. There's a lot that falls under this umbrella, and much of it depends on the company you work for and how they structure the compensation. But some common ones that you hear often are stock options, stock appreciation right, and employee stock purchase plans. Essentially, means to buy company stocks at a discounted price or earn company stocks if you meet certain milestones. But because these are golden handcuffs, created as an incentive to keep employees around as long as possible, they come with strings attached. Limited window in which you can buy, specified price available only for a finite period of time, and vesting schedule. All geared towards keeping employees somewhat happy, but not too happy. It's like me giving my kids an extra $20 in allowance for doing additional house chores, but I tell them they can only spend 25% of it, and that's not until the end of the month. But if they stick around with me and continue doing a good job, an additional 25% will vest at the end of next month. But wait, you could only spend in $1 increments and only on items that starts with letter A, J, and M. What you talking about, Will? Compared to nothing, equity-related compensation sounds like a good deal, but it requires a lot of work to juice out the maximum value. The number five most common golden handcuff, employer-sponsored retirement plan. Generally, the way employer-sponsored retirement plans work is this. The employer deducts a certain percentage of an employee's wage from their paycheck and deposits into a retirement account. The employer may also contribute to the retirement account by matching a portion of the employee's contribution or by making a flat contribution. Some common types of employer-sponsored retirement plans are the following. The 401k plan. This is probably the most common type of employer-sponsored retirement plan. While the 2024 401k contribution limit is $23,000, many employers provide matching, and often the matching rate escalates with years in service. I've seen some companies offer up to 12% in match. Talk about some tight handcuffs, right? And this is less common nowadays, but some companies even offer a defined benefits plan. In a defined plan, the company promises employees a guaranteed income at retirement. Essentially, the employer is assuming the responsibility of managing the plan's investment and risk, unlike a 401k where the employee is assuming that risk. But such plans are pretty rare, especially in the private sector. You really only see them in government jobs like teaching, utilities, or the military. And even many of them are moving away from them. Bottom line, many individuals employed in companies that provide great retirement plans plans stick around because they feel they can't find a better plan elsewhere. A quick reminder before we move on to the next golden handcuff. If you find the points I'm covering here useful, please consider downloading your free one-page PDF companion guide that goes along with this video. It has everything I'm covering in a simple to digest one-page format. Go to the link I'll have in the description below to download your free copy. The number six most common golden handcuff. Fancy job titles. For some people, job titles mean a lot. It gives them a sense of achievement, status, and purpose. Vice President of Operations, Chief Innovation Officer, Director of Beverage Dissemination. And some smaller companies even have a tendency to inflate job titles to entice high-performing employees to stay. They know that this individual might have a hard time getting a similar level job title at a bigger company. So if they can't give them a big salary, at least give them a big title. And you might think, do people really stick around for a fancy title? You'd be surprised. I know people personally who were thinking about moving companies and decided not to because their employer added chief in front of their job title. The funny thing is their job scope didn't change at all, only the title. The number seven most common golden handcuff, fancy company. It's a fact that certain companies attract 100 times more job applicants than other companies based on name brand alone. Companies like Apple, Goldman Sachs, Disney, McKinsey don't really have to do much recruiting. People flock to them just because of their name brand alone. Thus, if you work at a company with high brand authority, that alone is a golden handcuff. It is much easier to get job interviews after working for one of these companies just because having their name on your resume will open doors. But this fact alone can also keep you in a job that you hate. I personally know many people who work at very fancy companies, Goldman Sachs, McKinsey, and Google, who want to quit and move on to something less demanding, but are terrified of losing the luster that comes with working for one of these companies. What about the network, the opportunity, the prestige? Yes, all true and valid. However, if you want to try something else in your life, but the brand name is the only thing keeping you around, it might be time to do some self-reflection about what you want in life. The number eight most common golden handcuffs, 
flexible working conditions. For some people, working from home may be a priority. I don't care about the company brand prestige or a fancy job title. The only thing that matters to me is having flexible working conditions being able to work from home. Since COVID, the working from home arrangement has been a lot more common in many companies. Though many are now clawing back this arrangement, requiring employees to come to the office at least a few days a week. But if your company is still giving you that flexibility and you value that, that alone might be enough to have you stick around longer. The number nine most common golden handcuff, a company car. If your job requires you to be on the road a lot, a company can give you a car to take home each night. Think of jobs like an on-call field technician that needs to service client equipment at odd hours, or a sales representative whose job entails identifying and pursuing customer leads on the road on a regular basis. The company can give you a car straight out or subsidize you for the cost of the car. Regardless of the arrangement, for some people, this is a very attractive benefit given they don't need to shell out extra money for a second or a third car. I've known people whose justification for sticking with a certain job was primarily because of this benefit. They were like, where else can I get a job where the company gives me a free car that I can use for personal use on weekends? The number 10 most common golden handcuff, great healthcare. It is a fact that healthcare in the US is pretty expensive. The United States spends a lot more in healthcare compared to many other developed nations. The average monthly premium for a 40 year old on a silver health insurance plan is approximately $550 per month. This comes out to about $6,600 annually. If you have a family, multiply that by three or four, and you're talking about twenty dollars to $30,000 for health insurance alone if you're to pay out of pocket. Thus, many individuals used to getting quality health insurance plan through their current employer feels very uncomfortable thinking about alternatives especially if the company is providing an excellent healthcare plan with great subsidies. I've seen some companies that provide 100% free healthcare. That is pretty crazy. Again, if you have a family, you're talking about twenty dollars to $30,000 of savings. Even if you can get a bigger salary at a different company, if they're not providing competitive healthcare benefits, that alone can keep you at your current company. Golden handcuff, mission accomplished. The number 11 most common golden handcuff. Generous paid time off. Your company provides great, paid time off. This is a bit extreme, but some companies like Netflix go as far as having unlimited PTO policy. You get to take as many vacation days as you want as long as you're being responsible and getting your work done. But even if you don't work at a place like Netflix, if your company provides decent paid time off, this could be a golden handcuff for you because you value it so much. And many companies have a policy where the longer you stay with the company, the more PTO you can accrue. Thus many employees who stayed at a company for many years and are accruing three weeks, four weeks, or even five weeks of time off a year, might have a hard time moving elsewhere. They know that if they were to move companies, they would need to start at the bottom. Two weeks PTO if that. That alone might be enough to keep some employees to stick around longer than they like. The number 12 most common golden handcuff, tuition reimbursement. Some employees offer generous tuition reimbursement for college or graduate courses. The company may not have any strings attached to some of the reimbursement, but some may choose to do so based on the amount. For example, when my wife was a full-time registered nurse, her hospital had a program where they would pay 100% of the tuition for her master's and nurse practitioner program. The catch was that she would need to stick around for three years afterwards. If she left any time before, she would need to pay back a prorated amount. We thought several times about just paying back the tuition because she was thinking about a career change. However, in the end, she decided to finish the contract. The golden handcuff worked well in this scenario. All right, that's a lot that I cover. So some closing thoughts regarding golden handcuffs. There's nothing inherently wrong with golden handcuffs. Companies use them to retain high performing employees. And as long as the employees are extracting value from them, it's a win-win for both parties. Just be mindful that you're not exclusively staying at the company because of the benefits alone. Thank you guys for watching. In the line of high performance, if you'd like to get motivated and achieve more, please check out my video here. Until next time, all the best. Thank you.